<clears throat> Hi, my name is Hanny Van Gary. I live in Hermosa Beach. Honorable Mayor, City Council. Um, <clears throat> my brief comments are a follow-up to the comments I just heard about what's going on with ENB. I'll tell you just very briefly, based on my experience doing this for a living for nine years as an environmental engineer, what ENB is doing does not make sense. Um, it's my understanding, based on discussions with the city manager and reviewing various things, that ENB is presenting this, that they're doing this assessment work as part of the EIR project. Um, and I haven't looked and reviewed the entire details of the EIR project, but the sequence of these events does not make sense. And I think it's your job as our city council looking out for, out, for, out for the city of Hermosa Beach to look into what's going on. The application, ENB's application was deemed to be complete, right? So they're not supposed to be doing anything in support of their application. But they're out there in May after the application is complete doing drilling on the city yard without getting permits, without apparently you guys approving it or knowing anything about it because it was not included in the last update that I was here, and that I heard that when I was here in city council. I understand there's an agreement that was entered into, that the city entered into in April of this year, allowing them access to the property. And I'll tell you briefly what it says. It says the licensee, which is ENB, shall have full access to the interior and exterior of the entire property. Licensee shall perform testing pursuant at any time in the following dates from May 1 to May 25, 2013. So I don't understand what they're doing. And I'll tell you, based on my experience with doing environmental work for nine years, that typically to do environmental assessment work, you prepare a proposal, you prepare a work plan, you submit it to an agency, the agency reviews it, either provide you comments about it or provides an approval letter to say you proceed. And if you're a landlord, you get the opportunity to look at that work plan and approve it or comment about it, and then they proceed with the work. None of this stuff happened. And what they're trying to do, and, and I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about this driving in, I hope that I'm wrong, but I, what I feel like EMB is trying to do is doing this work, do this assessment, to find contamination on the property that right now they don't have to do any work to do. They find contamination and they come back to you, the city says, you know what, if you let us, and t talk to us, the residents, if you let us go in and do this work and drill oil, we're going to clean up that contamination that we found in the city yard. So you don't have to worry about it because that's part of our settlement agreement. But at this point, they have no obligation to go looking for this contamination. They have no obligation to assess it. They have no obligation to investigate it. And if they're taking on this obligation to do us as a favor and doing it at basically at no cost to us, then the least they can do is follow the protocol, get the permits that they need to get, get the approval from the Regional Water Quality Control Board, get the appropriate permits, and provide you guys with the information and give you the opportunity to say, hey, this is what we're doing, and have it before a city council meeting, not have it through a, le a letter that's prepared in, in the, in the in, uh, and no disrespect to our city manager, but these are decisions that impact city property, and these things should be discussed by you, should be reviewed by you. We have a lot of people with environmental experience on the panel here, and you should review that work plan, figure out what is it that the ENP is trying to do, and if you have comments, address these comments, and if you don't, then approve it, and at the same time, be transparent about it, transparent about it so all of us know what's going on, so somebody that lives next to the city yard doesn't find this about it at 7 o'clock in the morning because he's hearing a drill rig next door going off with the noise. Um, these are my comments about the ENB. I have one last comment. I know you have uh, part of your uh, written communications, a letter from um, Howard Long Longacre. Uh, it includes a lot of different things. The one comment I mentioned about his letter that I agree with is with Athens uh, communications, the communications they have with our city. I looked at the stuff that they sent over over the weekend. It does look like a mailer, like an ad. Uh, I didn't, you know, I, I looked at it because I knew that it was coming, but otherwise it was easy for me not to pay attention to it. And I think I would really encourage you to get involved with the communications that Athens is doing with the city. Maybe send it in an actual city letter because I look at my city letters that I come in that gives people attention. And I understand from the various meetings that I attended with Athens, you guys communicated to them, and I think they promised to have an office in the, in the city, if, that, if my, my recollection is correct. There's nothing in that communication that says anything about an office in the city. It has an 800 number, an 888 number, and I understand from the letter that their office is up in Irvine. If you want the communication to be accurate, I think you should be involved in the communication that they pass on to the, to the city residents. Um, and if they promise you to have a, an, an office in the city to allow people to come and stop by the office and pick up whatever information they need, I think you should demand them to, to comply with what they promised you to do. Thank you for your time. Thank you.